You know, I sat there and I listened to every single word that you had to say. And you're right. You're absolutely 100% right. I'm not the same, same Adam Cage. And I haven't been the same Adam Cage for quite some time. Probably since I lost my World Heavyweight Championship, that's when it all fell apart into pieces. And I haven't been able to pick them back up and put them back together. See, I had a fire and a passion inside of me when I was World Heavyweight Champion. And that fire and passion has died long ago. And I haven't been able to ignite it. I haven't been able to restart that fire inside of myself. And I don't know how. And maybe that's why I took off. Maybe that's why I left. Because I just burnt out. You see, going out there and trying to find scenery after scenery after scenery just to impress people here in IW and the fans is hard work. Calling myself the king of scenery style is probably what killed me. Because instead of going out there and finding great scenery, maybe I should have been concentrating on the things that I was saying in front of the camera, not the things that were behind me. You see, that's what makes you so great, Ethan is that you can grab a chair, you can sit there and you can talk and everybody will hang off your every word. Captivate the whole entire world with the things that you say. You don't have to worry about green screens. You don't have to worry about standing in front of a garage door with great lighting. You don't have to worry about special effects and themes and music and opening intros that go on for 30, 40 a minute. See, people spend so much time, I was spending so much time trying to come up with these great intros to impress people instead of worrying about the actual things that I was saying. You know, I'm not the sort of guy, I've never been the sort of guy that comes out here with great wordplay. I've tried, but I just cannot do it. I don't know how you guys like you, Ethan, and all the rest of the top athletes here in the world can do it. But that's just what makes you you, isn't it? So maybe I relied on the special, special effects. Maybe I relied on being the king of scenery style, the going out there and finding great scenery, standing by the beach, just to make myself look better, to cover over the fact that the things I was saying was actual bullshit. Maybe I need to have a good, hard look inside myself and realise that that stuff just doesn't need to be done. I'm wasting my time. I wasted my time going out there and being the king of scenery style. What the fucking hell is that anyway? You know, I've always said to myself that facing top athletes, the best in the world, is only going to make me better. It's going to push me to improve myself. Because putting yourself in situations that you're unfamiliar with, that make you nervous, make you scared, can only make you grow. If you take a hold of them and use them correctly instead of wasting your opportunities. And this opportunity I've got to be the number one contender, I don't want to waste I want to prove to everybody in IW that I can stand up against the best without that scenery behind me, without a fancy garage door and spotlights and music playing everywhere. And I can bring back that fire that Adam Cage once had. Because if I can't, this season, if I can't do that, if I can't find that fire, then why do I come back? Am I wasting everybody's time? I don't know. But I do know that I'm going to try my bloody hardest this week to be that number one contender. I'm going to give you every single thing that Adam Cage has got. The fire, the rage, everything. And I will try and bring back that Adam Cage of old. If it's the last thing that I do. Ethan Carnage, I look forward to listening to absolutely everything that you say actually learning something from you. So let's do this. Let's see who becomes the number one contender.